Now, when I say it's a bad idea, do I mean that it goes bad 100% of the time? No. But the problem is you pretty much eliminate any line that is there between men and women. Because she's she's going to, to act like one of the guys. That's what typically happens. But when that situation comes, when she needs to act like one of the guys, she's going to need to be defended. And it's, it ends up not being fair for somebody in a situation. Example, at the gym I frequent, there's, there, there used to be, I don't know if she still goes, we haven't seen her in a few weeks, but anyway, there's this chick, she's, uh, I guess she's tomboyish, but she's gay, so I don't know if that counts as tomboyish, but whatever. But that's her demeanor, right? And she's fairly young, about 19, 20. Um, and she can ball too, not like let's get her open shot so she can feel special. No, she can actually play. Uh, she can get average Joe a run for his money, basically. Now, that is relevant, we'll get to that. So there's this other guy, this is guy. They're they're like it's as far as size go, they're identical. They're already fucking identical. He's a small guy. They're both about five, four, five, five, 120 pounds. Like they're do small. And he's trash, by the way. He's really trash. He um he's trash. You feel like that. And they, she was they were guarding each other this particular day. And what ended up happening is because she can actually play and this dude is, is trash, she 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 was working. She was she was putting a hurting on him. And the sideline being the sideline, anytime something like that happens, it doesn't have to be a, a woman, ladies. It doesn't have to be a woman. But anytime something like that is going on, we are always hyping it up on the side like, oh shit, you getting killed, what you gonna do? Et cetera, et cetera. It's it's a shit talking place. That's what that's what a lot of men's spaces are. You, you, part of what you do is talk a lot of shit to each other. And so he's getting frustrated. Like just, just he's always getting frustrated. It's not just because he's girl. He's always that's just who he is. He's always getting clowned because he's trash. So one thing he likes to do is like when he gets frustrated, he's like he like shows people off. But with her being a girl and them like being the same sides, it was actually, it, it actually affected her. Like he moved her, like cause he did the same thing to me more than once. But it's it's, it's unnoticeable because I'm six one. He's a little guy. So her reaction was not only to push him back, but it was to give him a right jab to the face as hard as she could. And. Well, I'm not sure if it was hard. She could, maybe she could punch harder. I don't know. But his, the shock in his face was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? So you got a couple guys breaking it up. I'm not I'm not concerned with that part. You want to break up a fight? That, it's, that I don't care who was between. You want to stop violence? Stop it. But what, what did come, where, what I do have a problem with is where the people who are really, really, really cool with her wanted to jump in and protect her. No, I don't want her to get beat up. No, I don't want her to get her ass beat. None of that. But again, you are in this space. You carry yourself just like us. You just did something that if I were to do, I have to face those consequences. Now, he may be a little guy, but there are obviously guys that are bigger than me. There's two dudes that come there together, call him the muscle man, because these niggas is fucking jacked up and are like on some type of testosterone steroid pill or something, I, I swear. Like, th these big ass dudes, like every chick they ever fuck with gotta be in the wheelchair, because they are that aggressive. So if I do that to them, I'm paying, I gotta pay the price. Just like if he chose to like, if, if his pushes like really affected me or anybody else he did, he would have to pay that price. 
there would be no way out of protecting. So now again, I'm not saying that women should just get beat up. I'm saying we should stop trying to blur this line of, oh, it's okay if they come. No, it's not. Because you're different with two different mentalities. You're different dealing with two different just atmospheres. A man's atmosphere is not for women, in my opinion. It's just not. If you want to call that sex, it's fine. I don't agree, but that's your opinion. Your opinion is wrong. If you think you can prove me wrong, try. But I, 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 you're not. Listen, when I say it again, I'm going to get off. Men's spaces, men's atmosphere are no place for women. I don't care how you carry yourself. Because it is unfair to be put in a situation to where something can be done to you and you just got to take it. That's why if, we, if you've seen a guy, like if I went around doing that to him, if I if he, if I put him in situations to where he just couldn't defend himself because I'm not much bigger than him, people would call me out and say, you're a fucking bully. And it's literally the same thing. I say this every time an NFL case comes up. Uh, you know, if a woman does this and that, put a guy in a situation, now you're just... It, it gets abused. That that rule gets abused. So it really doesn't need, there, there's no place for it. It's just not. Like the video, let me know what you think in the comments. Be right, not positive. I'm out.